Herbert said. AI generated poetry in deck building, like peanut butter and jelly. Versus of Enchantment is a magical card game where you duel wizards using AI generated poetry. Travel a rich world, meet fellow wizards, collect cards, and build a deck that will inspire your enchantments. With an interesting art design and multiple schools of magic, you can check it out on Steam. Number nine. Immerse yourself in a vibrant and relaxing puzzle game featuring elegant koi fish to enhance your gameplay. In Koi Zen Opposite Colors, you take control of both the white and black pieces to paint the board with amazing colors. Embark on a beautiful and minimalist journey that promises to provide a serene experience, allowing you to unwind and relax. Number eight. Soko Solitaire is a card pushing puzzle game inspired by Sokoban and Solitaire. You'll find yourself pushing, stacking, or flipping cards and more across 60 different handcrafted levels. The goal is to push all the cards to their final destination, and with unique solitaire inspired elements and a colorblind mode, it's a puzzle game that will challenge you without stressing you out. Number seven. The Nearest Tactics is a short, narrative tactical RPG experience that tells a story about refugees fleeing their occupied motherland. You lead a group of refugees looking for freedom outside the walls of Veneris. Unite your people and use tactical prowess to escape your oppressors. A rich blend of tactics and fantasy RPG, you can check it out on Steam. Number six. Broken Lens is a relaxing game about spotting the differences between two scenes. Within the images lies a story about a little robot with a slight vision problem. Look around the scene and zoom in to find and fix the differences between your visual sensors in a rich and cute universe. Play at your own pace and explore different worlds in Broken Lens on Steam. Number five. From the developers of Object Wars comes another game in development with a voxel twist. They recently showed off Endless Adventure and it's already looking great. Their first area is called the Forest Dungeon and features some of the recent visual updates like the Grass Shader. You can follow more development news on their Discord as we eagerly await more updates. Number four. Over at Voiland's Game Dev Journey, there's a slightly different project happening in the Gato Engine. Voiland has recently undertaken the project of creating a video editor using Gato. He has been documenting his progress on his YouTube channel, and it's interesting not only watching the process, but also to see such a unique project develop. You can check out their YouTube channel in the description. Number three. In Death Unfazed, you invent your own path. Phase through walls with your dash and blaze towards the exit. It's a short experience using precision and puzzle platforming. Time to flex your puzzle solving and speed running abilities as you forge the best path to the exit door. Number two. Maces and Dices is a turn-based roguelike where dice decide what actions you can take, but it's up to you to make the most out of every roll. When both your health bar and available actions consist of dice, you better hope you brought the right ones. Battle through procedurally generated dungeons where every move is important. You can check it out on Steam. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Boss Scene Demo by Devmar, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And don't forget to vote for your favorite in the comments below. And number one. Engine Roar is a hardcore race for survival on rusty, post-apocalyptic wastelands. Race up to six cars in championship or time trial mode. With car customization, explosions, and car damage, you'll need to use your wits and skill to survive, not just win. It features more than 20 tracks with day and night transitions, weather, and of course, lots of ways to destroy your opponents. You can check it out on Steam. So which number this week was your favorite? Vote down below in the comments, and for more indie games and projects, you can check out another episode of This Week in Gato.